All right, uh, let's look at the homework uh, uh, 1.6, uh, 2.1, uh, problem number 5. All right, so we have a piecewise defined function f of x. And what we want to do is we want to pick the right number uh, for a so that uh, this piecewise defined function is continuous everywhere. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so if you look at the each one, uh, x cubed, so this is a cubic function, which is a polynomial, so it's, uh, it's continuous by itself. And the second formula is a quadratic function, so it's another polynomial function, so it's continuous everywhere, All right? So the only uh, discontinuity that could happen is right at the gap between these two, which is uh, x equals 2. All right, so if this function is continuous everywhere, uh, which means that uh, at least uh, it has to be, we have to make sure that uh, it is continuous at 2, right? And remember the definition of continuity at 2, and the definition is the limit of uh, f of x as x approaches 2 has to be equal to f of 2, right? So in order for this equality to hold, at least we have to make sure that uh, the limit have to ex has to exist, right? So we're going to look at the uh, left-hand limit and the right-hand limit separately. So let's look at the left-hand limit, right? So this is our left-hand limit. So if x approaches 2 from the left, so something smaller than 2, right? So we have to use the top formula. Right, because x is when x is less than or equal to two, the formula is x cubed. So we're going to take the limit of uh, x cubed as x approaches negative two. Uh, I'm going to uh, make it a little bit look a little bit better here. All right. Then uh, here you can just plug in two. So if you plug in two for x, we get uh, two cubed, uh, which is equal to eight. All right, so we got the left-hand limit. Uh, let's look at the uh, right-hand limit, All right? Then, which is going to give us, uh, let's see, so if you x approaches 2 from the right, we're going to have to use the, the second formula. So I'm going to put the second formula in and then plug in x equals 2. So you're going to get uh, uh, a2 squared, which is just going to be, 4a because 2 squared is 4. All right? All right, so but in order for this uh, bo regular limit, which is both sided, right? Uh, two sided limit uh, to exist, we have to make sure that the left hand limit and the right hand limit gives you exactly the same value. So we have to set them equal to each other. So we're going to have 4a is equal to 8, right? Then we can simply divide through by 4. Uh, we can find the value of a to be 2. All right? So let's uh, type this guy in. So we found a to be 2. All right? Let's check the answer. All right, I came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.